The self-assessment is a linear guide through some interactive choices so learners can review or learn about color. Starting with a holder frame and energetic music, the motion graphics engage the viewer, preparing them for their experience. The key terms are highlighted in white to make the identification of required tasks easy on the viewer, not adding to cognitive load, but rather lowering it. Answers to incorrect choices are explanatory, guiding the viewer to a correct answer rather than letting them wonder what was not right. If a viewer chooses to, they can click through the presentation. They are not stopped from proceeding. The first three slides ask the viewer to choose specific color relationships. The auditory rewards and explanatory responses continue in this section and the next. The second section asks about terms relating to color, while the last area uses identification to explore the relationships between color. Slide one is a holder slide waiting for face-to-face -face audience to settle in. We get started with the menu page. There is a link to an interactive self-assessment designed in the last module and the five areas of color covered in this refresher or introductory course. Slides 8 through 15 present the cultural meanings of color. This appeals to social learners and on slide 9 there is a survey about color to include the student's opinion into the cohort profile. Links to return to the menu are located at the end of each section so a little choice has been taken away by design. Starting with slide 46 is the section on using color in design. The first slide presents five concepts, which is a lot for cognitive load. The next five slides elaborate on these ideas, providing alerts for students to be on the lookout for. This is an example of pre-training as described as an alternative technique for reducing cognitive load, according to Mayer and Morano. Using color and design must truly be practiced to become proficient. Slides 23 through 46 are the body of the course, explaining terms, characteristics, and relationships of color. Slide 35 has a link to a PDF on creating a color wheel, an authentic assessment activity. Slide 36 has links to online color tools for designers. 3D software was used to create an octave of a piano and align the tones of the scale with the colors of the spectrum. Slides 16 through 22 are about the science of color, the physiology of the human eye, the visible spectrum, and digital color. Slide 52 has a link to skin tone exercise that has been done at least five times with students using acrylic paint. These cohorts had a distinctively better quality of characters and fashion designs than previous groups. Slide 58 is a holder for summative discussion with the presentation audience. The last slide explains the application of design in the presentation and prompts social network sharing. Thank you for your time and opinion. I will certainly consider all of your ideas.